want to thank everyone who left uh, kind words on the last video. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, I know it was kind of a downer video, but I had to make it. So I just want to say thank you to my patrons and to anyone who watches my videos that left uh, kind words and stuff. Thank you very much. All over the world, people describe encounters with strange, often bizarre creatures, some of which seem to be pulled right from movies and comic books, rarely leaving any trace of their existence beyond the word of the puzzled few, unlucky enough to cross paths with whatever it is. In this video, I will go through some of the weirder cases that I've found recently. Thanksgiving Day in southern Wisconsin proved stimulating for a couple out for a drive when one of these strange monsters crossed their path. It was initially spotted standing in a field. They weren't sure at first what they were looking at. Then it did something that shocked them. It lifted off the ground and began to fly straight towards them, eventually passing directly over their car. They could only look on in disbelief as this enormous winged creature passed by and out of sight. Intrigued by what they had just witnessed, the couple quickly circled back. As they crept down the road, they strained for another glimpse, and they got it. Back on the ground, it was now standing on the left side of the road in the field. Able to examine it better, they noted that it was, quote, muscular and very large. It stood around eight feet tall, was covered in hair, similar to a Sasquatch, except where its arms should have been, there were wings. Either it was a Sasquatch with wings, or some type of massive bird-like creature unknown to science. Seemingly, it grew tired of being ogled and it took flight again, passing back over the road and out of sight of the couple. This time, it was for good. They did not see it again, and soon they went back to doing what they were doing, albeit with a lot more to talk about. Area researcher Barnaby Jones heard of the case and immediately went to the location and spoke to some of the witnesses and others who lived in the area. Security cameras were also checked, yet none seemed to be pointed in the spot where the creature was seen. These people go out in the woods and they, they look for Bigfoot and I, I, I love them all. I, I think it's great, you know. There's a lot worse things you could be doing with your time than having some fun, running around in nature, and they look for it and they never find it. And then you have somebody who's just out, you know, going for a drive on Thanksgiving and just random encounter just crosses your path and you're just left stunned. That's how it happens a lot of times. The summer of 2010, female witness, then young, was with her family on a boat ride along a local river in British Columbia, Canada. As they passed the sand barge, she immediately began to feel uneasy. As the boat neared closer to the shore, though far enough away to avoid the sand barge, something caught her eye. It was two people with goat heads. They were sort of hunched over, making odd, unintelligible sounds. I was terrified. My parents saw it too. The only way I can describe what they look like was what Krampus looks like in the 2015 movie. The group quickly sped away. The strange figures are still discussed by the family even 13 years later. I still vividly remember what I saw and the emotions I felt. We haven't boated there since. I still bring it up a lot with my friends and family. We laugh it off, but always come back to how deeply disturbing it was. How creepy would that be? You're sitting there and you're in a boat and you look over and there are these two devil looking creatures standing there uh, that would be uh, that would be pretty frightening after several hours of hiking in the Ozark Mountains outdoorsman Bert Bowers suddenly found himself in the presence of one of these goat like critters after stopping for a breather it was 2022 Bowers was sipping water seated on a log when, in the distance, he spotted something moving around. I went to go see what it was. I thought I was seeing things, he recalled. This thing, half animal, half human, 
was reaching upwards trying to get something out of the tree. This thing looked like it had the head of a goat and the body of a human. I thought maybe it was some person wearing a mask, but as I got a bit closer, this thing started making a very loud snorkeling sound and it seen me, then started slowly coming towards my way. I started to walk fast away from it and got back to my truck. I turned around and it was no longer there. I have no idea what it was. A delivery worker living in rural Arkansas began noticing strange small red lights in the woods behind his home. Sometimes the lights came in different numbers, sometimes 5, sometimes 2, sometimes 8, sometimes 12, etc. Very random. One evening in the summer of 2018, he had just returned home from work. It was around 8 p.m. As he exited his car, he heard a branch snap. This got his attention. The lights were back. There was about 50 of them this time sprinkled about in the darkness of the forest. He then noticed a, quote, human-like figure standing by a tree almost directly in front of these lights. There was something there, and it looked human, he noted. Reaching for his weapon, he always carried one, he asked, Who's there? The figure did not respond, rather, it sunk back into the forest. The lights seemed to grow brighter, and they began blinking, quote, like animal eyes. Now spooked, the witness retreated into his home. He was so disturbed that he had trouble sleeping and called in sick to work the very next day. He remained inside his house the entire day, not wanting to venture out. As night fell, he peered out his window and saw the creature again in the tree line. Only this time its head was illuminated by one of the red lights. I don't mean I could see its face, but its face was literally one of the lights, he noted. It just stood there as if watching me. I could tell it was looking directly at me despite the curtain being shut. I called the police but when they arrived the lights were gone and after a quick sweep of the edge of the woods they decided it was all clear and left. I got this one through the Daniel Benoit ECBRO podcast and it, we've, we've all heard these stories of, of hunters encountering these weird lights in the woods and then Typically, this is followed by a Bigfoot encounter, not always, but sometimes. And you kind of think of them as two separate things, like the lights are kind of with the Bigfoot creature, or they're kind of following the Bigfoot creature, tracking it, or it's, in some cases, it's depending on how fringy you want to get, they might be like a portal. But this case kind of suggests that the Bigfoot creature and the light phenomenon is actually the same thing. The Bigfoot creatures are the lights. The, it's interesting. The idea of a glowing headed Bigfoot might sound ridiculous, but it's honestly not the first time I've heard of an entity with an illuminated cranium. On December 2nd, 2021, a Utah man was asleep on the second floor of his country home. The window of his room exited out onto a balcony. Below was a tall patio. He spotted a very light green glow in the window. He initially assumed that a raccoon or some other forest critter might have tripped the light sensor. He slowly got dressed and walked down the stairs to check. Beneath the stairs, he found his two dogs quietly in their kennel, despite neither liked being inside that kennel. He thought it was odd. He peered out the window of his home, and that's when he heard something, a sort of deep buzzing sound. It was like that, but inside me, kinda. Like an earthquake or bone conduction. Not sure if that's the term. I can't breathe. My knees buckle. I see it. It's hard to make out whatever the color the rest of it is, as its head is the first thing I focus on. But I imagine it's either very dark blue-brown or purple. Its head was like a very intricate, fractural-like triangle like Doctor Strange's magic in the MCU. Does that make sense? The witness claims that he was drawn towards it. It reminded him of a deep sea creature that was able to hypnotize his prey into coming closer. And he did. He moved closer. Inside, his mind was telling him not to get any closer, but he just kept moving in. He had no control over what was happening. Then his face hit the window. 
Its gaze turns to me. I freeze. The most fear I've ever felt takes over me. Then my dog bites my pant leg and yanks me out of its sight. It then just like vanished when I tried to see it again. Around that time, the witness's father was returning home. He thinks that this might have factored into why it disappeared, but it did not want to be seen by a second person. I felt that it knew that I saw it, and I wasn't supposed to see it, the witness noted. I, got, I remember there was a caller, I think it was Dave Schrader, Tim Dennis's uh, Darkness Radio, and they got a call from a guy, and I had actually like transcribed it, and if you go look through Lon Strickler's site, you will actually find it, there, it it's in there. Where he, this witness, or uh, this guy called in, and he said that he encountered this uh, shadow man, but it had a triangle or a pyramid head. It was a pyramid head. And he he described that it was like, the, the, if I remember correctly, the head was uh, lit up and it was uh, just basically a shadow, an all black body with a, with a pyramid head. And um, I thought that was interesting, especially when I heard this this case. It's interesting that he mentioned how the light of the creature reminded him of something from a comic book, specifically Marvel's Doctor Strange. I too found a similarity to another Marvel superhero in the next case. In 2012, Jacques Ricci and some friends were doing some urban exploring in an abandoned building, which housed an old swimming pool on the outskirts of Angoulême, France. It was a night trip and flashlights were used to help them see around the disheveled building. It was a pretty routine exploration up until the moment their flashlight illuminated something in one of the rooms that frightened them to their very core. This was all captured on video by Ricci himself was filming with his cell phone. Obscured partially behind a shelving unit, a figure could be seen apparently sitting. It then slowly glances over, popping a leg, arm and head out to peer at them. This figure, although humanoid, does not appear to be human. It seems to have a noticeable crimson red skin color and large glowing white eyes. Ricci and the friends are understandably frightened and immediately scramble away, leaving the building and heading for a nearby forest. That's when the footage ends. A strange screeching sound can be heard in the background as they run, though it is unclear if it's just the natural sound of the forest, crickets, bugs, etc or something else, possibly one of the teens or maybe the creature. Ricci uploaded the video to his YouTube channel on April 3, 2012. He titled it Strange Creature in an Abandoned Swimming Pool. In his description he noted, We still do not know what it is. It's pretty terrifying. In the years since, all the content on Ricci's channel has been removed, except for that video. It is unclear if he ever made a follow-up video. Interestingly, Kylo Lu, a friend of Ricci's, responded in the video's comments, attempting to clarify that the building was normally locked and hard to get into, and it was not known to be a dwelling for homeless people. He indicated that he and his friends pass that building almost every day on the way to the university restaurant, and they rarely see anyone around that property. Further, he noted about the creature, we don't really know what that thing was. Some of the commenters noted that the eye glow might have been reflection from the flashlight, though it seemed unlikely since human eyes don't normally reflect light that way. As well, the eyes seem far too large and too far apart, and the glow is visible even when the flashlight is no longer being shined in its direction. A commenter, Primitive Sponge, wrote, That is no person, dude. One, it has a red skin color. Two, its eyes are bigger than a human's. Three, its eyes shine. Some commenters also thought the screeching sound might have been an alarm of some sort, though it's hard to tell. Sir Spooks eventually featured the video in his compilation, 25 Scariest Creature Videos of All Time, uploaded on July 21, 2020. He noted that it must have been terrifying for Ricci and his friends. These kinds of experiences are sure to cause nightmares for anybody that has to go through it firsthand. Personally, the first time I saw the video, I was reminded of Marvel Comics superhero Spider-Woman and that the figure appears lanky, possibly female, is blood red in color, either that's its skin or it's wearing a skin suit, has long jet black hair, 
and its eyes seem to be shaped not unlike how the arachnid character's eyes appear in the comics, by a crooked teardrop and far apart. The fact that they are glowing white only adds to the mystery. So is it possible that a real-life Spider-Woman might exist in our reality? Possibly a tulpa pulled from the pages of a comic book directly into our world? It is kind of funny to think about, that somebody somewhere might have manifested Spider-Woman into existence, only to have her winding up in some abandoned building in France. If you guys want to go search out the channel and find the video, I highly recommend it. Or just go look at Sir Spook's uh, video. And I've watched this thing so many times. And it, it, it definitely could be a prank. A prankster could be like a hoax. But it's so creepy. And I don't know. It just the reaction of the people involved. And the way this thing looks. It just doesn't look like a person. It looks like a... It looks like this weird... I don't know, and it, it like I've watched the video, and you, I can't tell where the arms are and the leg. It kind of looks like it's sitting, and there's an. But then you look at it, and it doesn't look like an arm. I don't know. It's very strange, and I've watched it many times, like in slow motion, and uh, its eyes definitely look like they're lit up, like they're glowing, and it kind of like they kind of come. They're going through all these rooms, and they come into this room, and they've shine the flashlight on this in this one kind of like I don't know doorway or whatever and there's this thing sitting there and it kind of like turns and looks at them and it kind of like moves like it, it gets it's getting ready to get up and it's really and they just see it and they get spooked because it looks really odd and I don't know like I say it could be just a person in a costume but it's really creepy and the fact when you watch it the eyes are still like glowing even when the flashlight's off the off of it it's just really really weird <laughs>